in the evening and sunset is at 8.15. Currently it is cloudy, which is a very rare thing for Reno, Sparks, Tahoe region. It's cloudy, so that means it's gonna get darker quicker, but I am headed up to the Mount Rose Pass, the Tahoe Meadows area again to try a different trail. And it's a little late in the day, I gotta be honest. It's a little late in the day to be trying this. Uh, but today, I'm checking out the Port Keys PT5 brand new monitor that they just released. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked. This is a brand new entry level monitor. Um, so, I think very budget friendly, but from the specs that it reads on the box and the features it has, this thing I can already tell is going to be pretty cool. So, heading up to the mountain, it looks like it's raining up there right now. I did come prepared and hopefully it's not raining too heavily because that's, you know, could be a discouragement. But hey, this is the real adventure. This is what it's all about. You know, I had planned on doing this and unfortunately it was going to rain. So here we go. It's pretty wet out here. I'm uh, just getting on the trail. It's right about 7 p.m. So it's pretty dark out here. Sorry if you cannot see. Um, yeah, we're about to head in and try this thing out. Also, if you notice, I'm wearing my new the Real Adventure shirt and hat. You can take a look at all the gear, all the stuff, I'm calling it stuff. I don't like the word swag or, or merch. All of my new stuff at therealadventure.org. Road closed. I'm uh, on a gated forest road and this is half a mile in. Don't know why it's closed here, but I think I want to go this way. There's a trail over here. Yeah, it is bear season, so I'm just gonna keep talking as I'm out here. That way anything within earshot can hear me hopefully run before I see it. Because, I mean, there's some thick brush out here and. Yeah, there's some thick brush out here. Yo. 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 As I was filming myself walking across, I uh, stepped on this piece and kind of launched. Clearly, uh, those screws kind of rotted out. <laughs> so if you're coming this way, watch out for this bridge. So uh, as you come across the creek and a short incline, there's this nice kind of bouldery patch up here. And I think if I get up there, trail keeps going this way. I think if I can get up there, it'll be a nice spot to uh, set up my gear and take a look at this. I'll uh, get up here and show you the view. Hopefully I can see Tahoe. Maybe not. This is awesome. To be honest, I love a good cloudy day. Keeps the temperatures down, keeps the hikers away. So I actually have not even opened this. I've been waiting to uh, get out here and open it. This, honestly, this feels like a, a lot cooler place to do an unboxing than at home at my counter or at the desk. Um, so yeah, I have not yet pulled the plastic off this thing. Thank you Port Keys for sending me this. I'm super excited. So this is the Port Keys PT5. This is a level, entry level, excuse me, entry level, 
budget friendly monitor. If you've been watching along with my Pocket 6K rig, you know that my monitor of choice right now is the Portkey's LH5P. That's after testing three, four, five different monitors over the last few years. Uh, this will probably be, let me think, number six. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. Opening it up, we've got the standard port keys hard shell case. I love that they do this. There's not many instances you would need this, need this, but uh, you know, it's impressive for a budget, a budget monitor for an entry level monitor to come with a hard shell case. And it's a pretty sizable one at that. So I'm guessing all accessories I need are in here. Can't get it open. Oh, there we go side Golly. all right let's open it up wow pretty chill setup I'm, I gotta say so upon opening it you're gonna see these kind of barn door things that create the sunshade as well as a cold shoe mount and man this thing is lightweight I love that so a uh, nice big case really lightweight sunshade Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Sunshade built in, you can remove it. It kind of slides, looks like it just slides right into here. I really like that. Very lightweight, portable, compact. Oh my word, this thing's awesome. Now, the catch with this is it's not very bright. It doesn't have wire, wireless control like the uh, LH5P does. You've got, oh man, you've got a micro HDMI to HDMI cable and a full HDMI to HDMI cable, as well as a hex key, which is awesome. And then your user manual. I mean, they could not have created a better small package. But that's really nice that they include the HDMI cables. They do not include power cable, uh, but something I will also mention about this monitor, which I think is really awesome. It takes both the Sony NP batteries as well as the Canon LP batteries, which I have happened to bring along a few Canon batteries, and they're even reversed. So this way is your Sony, this way is your Canon. Really freaking cool. The nice thing that they even include this cold shoe mount that you can take off if you wanted to put it anywhere else with the quarter 20 thread. And there's only one quarter 20 thread here on the bottom. HDMI in, HDMI out, headphone jack, there's your power in, your power button, power on and off as well as a USB. I'm guessing that way you can load your LUTs. Also, it says a five volt in and out, so you could even power it from USB as well as power something else with this USB port. This thing is brilliant already and extremely lightweight. So today I'm gonna mount it on my Sony A6600, fire it up and see how it does. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna need to head back soon because it's just getting dark. I'll finish this up over at the Meadows where I've got a little less tree coverage. broke through the clouds just a little bit and it is stunning out here. The colors are just gorgeous. Oh, I got the perfect moment. So right now I'm setting up the uh, camera. Man, wow.
So last night it started raining. Well, it got dark, then of course started raining and made it dark before sunset. So today I'm out at Thomas Creek. Literally, there's the creek. And uh, gonna go through these specs with you guys on the PT5, sorry. That's actually kind of fun getting to do two locations. And this one's a little bit more of a, a fun drive, so. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put this, mount this on my A6600. And I've got kind of a, it's kind of a silly rig here. It's uh, on my little Manfrotto tripod <laughs> with the 7200. So it looks kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is. Okay, so uh, we have our touch screen which is very nice. If you tap the screen, it'll bring up your menu. If you swipe, it'll bring up your settings menu. Yeah, your image settings for the monitor itself, brightness, contrast, chroma, sharpness, tint. You can slide and you have a few other things. You have preset brightness levels, which is really nice. Uh, just hit one, two, one through 10. So that's a really cool feature. You can really quickly just hit your brightness, go back to your settings, change your contrast, etc. Um, this is a 500 nit monitor, but I'm extremely impressed at how well it does. It's not super bright right now, but um, you know I can I can see this image well. And if I turn off my focus peaking, it looks I can see that really well, and it looks nice. It's a good image, very sharp image for a small five inch monitor. First menu. You have a nice flip mode so that if you're shooting upside down or reverse, um, you can turn that on. You can do horizontal, vertical, um, as well as your display flip, on-screen display flip. So those are really nice features uh, that you do not see in most entry-level budget camera monitors. Next, we'll go over to our just regular settings, um, on-screen display low transparency high transparency middle transparency um i like the low setting for some reason it's brightest then black level um, of course down here's your histogram i'll show you how to toggle that in a minute your 3d luts this is where you load and turn on you can also make a shortcut key which is really nice uh yeah so you load from usb usb looks reset lut yada 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 audio uh here's your update firmware update you would load it onto a USB stick and update that here. So let's go over to our customizable menu. As soon as you, right out of the box, you're going to see none of this here. You'll see a little plus sign up here in this left corner. You'll see it right in the right corner at the moment, but it was in the left corner. And you assign all of your shortcuts that you want. And like most monitors, you have all of the features you want. Um, you, you know, your check field, guides, crosshairs, grids, peaking, false color, zebra, Underscan, Luma Histogram, Luma Waveform, RGB Waveform, Audio Meters, 3D LUT, and Zooming. Uh, so you have a lot of tools with this little monitor. Yeah, a budget monitor that comes with that much stuff. Uh, I'm not going to add anything. I, I have pretty much everything I need over here already. You can add a second column here on the right, which is really nice. So I've added my Focus Peaking, which is a very solid display. And in keeping with the uh, Fort Keys... Tradition, they just do a, a solid job with their uh, with their peaking. Next up is my audio meter levels, audio level meters. 
you toggle them and you have left and right right here on the top of your screen right now I'm just going uh, camera audio in my a6600 but you can toggle those on and off which is a very nice feature next up is the t is your 3d LUT which I have not loaded one yet but it's there and I will load it here's your uh, crosshair I like the crosshair I don't use the guidelines so much I like the crosshair to make sure that I am centered and then finally your your histogram one thing I don't like is that focus peaking shows up on your histogram as well which is an odd feature I've seen on several monitors um, I wish it would just show that autonomously above all of your other displays but not a deal breaker especially for $170 um, this is a really solid solid build for a monitor I mean this thing overall is I, you know, this is a prosumer level monitor for a very consumer cheap price. I would highly recommend this monitor if you're looking for, if you're just getting into external monitors, on camera monitors, this is by far the best one I've seen and this is the, I would say this is the one for you. And if you don't even think you'll use all those features, you know, down the road you probably will. There are lots of other monitors that are easy. You can just plug them in and go. Uh, I would not recommend them because so far, for the exact same amount of money, you can get an incredible monitor in this little Portkeys PT5. Thank you all for watching. Go check out therealadventure.org for all the cool stuff. Yeah, so I am like super impressed. I know I say that about a lot of products, but I'm genuinely impressed with the Portkeys PT5 monitor. And I would definitely highly recommend this for those of you looking for your first monitor. This thing is pretty awesome. As always, all the links will be in the description below. Please check those out. It'll help my channel. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.